Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you the robot as it works in real time. I'm going to be showing you each map as they're saved. The robot of course is continually updating its local map, but that's not actually outputted to a file until a deep scan is done. So there you can see the first scan of the robot. The current resolution is about eight and a quarter inches. You'll notice that a couple squares tend to be full right around the robot. I think this is because my shorter distance sensor is not quite overlapping the long distance sensor. Which means that those squares are being left full. This is because the robot actually both adds and deletes things from the map based on where things are in its sensor range. Right here I am going to go stand in front of the robot so it doesn't go onto the carpet. The wheel doesn't work particularly well on the carpet. One of the bigger challenges I've had is that if a, something is in a square, that square will be full even if it is on the border of the square. So oftentimes what you'll see is that maps will show that, oh we don't really have that much room, but then we all of a sudden will. And this is because the robot could be right along the borderline of a square and then cause the next square to either be on or off, placing that object a square further away by just having the robot move a very short distance, say an inch. I'm going to let the robot run and the different maps show until the end of the video. So that concludes this video. If you'd like to see more videos or have any questions, comments, drop them below.